Welcome to the Naomi Butler Show. Today we're going to be talking about some budgeting tips for brides in planning your wedding and managing all the different aspects of that. No matter what your budget is, whether it's a small or medium or a huge amount, it's just trying to manage it all as best as you can. So figure out what your top five things are, what's most important to you, and ask your why. Ask yourself what is the why. Why is this one the most important, the second most important, and that kind of thing. And then start with thinking, okay, out of these top five, what can I do to make this all work the best? If your number one thing is hiring a wedding planner, that's going to be very smart because they have so much knowledge. They have all the connections and the relationships in the industry, and they can help you save their fee. They can help you save money. They can help you negotiate. And I know the venue is a very important one, and that wedding planner can also help negotiate maybe even for longer hours than you would maybe normally get on your own, that kind of thing. Venue and catering is also going to be one of the biggest expenses. Your entertainment is going to be one. I had a bride tell me her most important thing was that party. She wanted people to remember that party. So it just depends on what your top five are. Once you get those down, then you can work down to the next five, the next 10, whatever. And just don't forget your honeymoon. That's going to be on your list. So think about your guest list. That might be something that as we're going through the weird times we have right now, that may change. And you may be able to get back to some kind of normal and have a decent amount with your guest list. I think the one thing is be flexible. And that's going to be the case with any of the categories that you're working with. Plan to spend more than you thought. What I've heard from brides over the years is they might have planned on spending this certain amount of money, but when they got through, they were spending two to two and a half times that amount because they had no idea how much this was going to cost. Keep in mind that all those companies that you're looking to work with, it's not so simple. There's so much back-end work that they do before, during, and after that wedding. And so there's a lot more expenses that go into it than you have any clue about. One thing I would think about is saving a portion each month. Let's say you get engaged this day and you both save a portion every month to go towards your wedding because you're probably going to be paying some of it. If somebody else is paying the wedding, that's awesome. But this is still a good habit to get into. So start saving a certain percentage every month and put that back for the part you're paying for the wedding. And even after the wedding's over, this is a very good habit to be in to save for those unexpected things that might happen. And with what we're all going through right now, that's something that everyone either should have done or should start doing. So keep a list of all your expenses that you're going through and what you actually spend for every part of the wedding. Plan for those unexpected things to take place. So have a miscellaneous fund, a rainy day fund, whatever you want to call it. And those are going to happen. Just plan on it. And uh, that's, that's going to help you in, in saving for those things. You're going to learn that for the wedding and for just life, planning for emergencies. Are you looking for a deal? Are you looking for quality? There's going to be professionals that you want to hire. You don't want to just hire someone who is not going to show up and be there for you for your special day. So check into hiring professionals and also look for wedding insurance. This is something I think wedsafe.com is one of the companies that you might check out. It's w-e-d-s-a-f-e.com and wedcov. I'm not sure how to say that, but it's wedcov.com, and that might be something that you definitely want to check into. Some venues may require it of the bride, but it is a very good thing to have and check with the people who are talking with you about that at those companies to make sure what it covers so you know what you're getting coverage for going in. Think about weekdays. 
when you are talking to a venue, there may be some weekdays that can save you some money. Or if you're still wanting a weekend, it's just you still want to be flexible so you can get a weekend that might be available. It might even be later. But just relax in the chaos. Relax through this process. Have fun. That's the main thing. Just enjoy yourself. It's your special day. And no matter what your budget is, sit down and go through it together and just have fun. Just enjoy it. And um, we'll see you on the next episode.